so the question is asking how many different labeled undirected graphs you have how many different labeled okay so the question is asking how many different labeled undirected graphs you have no self loop no parallel edges means simple graphs okay on n vertices so there are n vertices already you have n vertices like a1 a2 an so there are total total there are n vertices okay now the question is saying that you must have labeled so yes all the vertices are labeled already you have n vertices see you want to create a graph you want to create an undirected graph for every pair of vertices basically i can say basically i can say for every pair of vertices you have two choices either you can put a edge or you or you do not put a edge yes or no for every possible edge you have two choices for every pair of vertices you have two choices either you make them adjacent or you don't make them adjacent yes or no only this is what we have so i can say that for every for every distinct pair of vertices for every distinct pair of vertices for every distinct pair of vertices we have two choices we have two choices what are those two choices either you put edge between them or you don't put edge between them so what are the two choices put edge put edge or don't put edge yes or no so either you put edge between them or you don't put edge between them because you already have n vertices so there are n vertices now for every two vertices if i take these two vertices i have two choices either i make them adjacent or i don't make them adjacent either i put this edge or i don't put this edge so for every pair of vertices we have for every distinct pair of vertices these are the two choices we have so finally number of graphs how many graphs you can create finally number of graphs remember for every edge like this is a possible edge either this will exist or this will not exist either this will exist or this will not exist either this will exist or this will not exist so for every possible edge there are two choices either it will exist or it will not exist so answer will be 2 power nc2 yes or no answer will be 2 power nc2 because for everything you have two two choices is this clear anyone has any doubt in this so for example if you have like for example if you have, if you have n equal to 3 if you have n equal to 3 then total three vertices you have 1 2 3 there are total three vertices so how many graph you can create see either you can create this graph or what you can do either you can create this graph or you can create this graph or you can create this graph labeled graph we want so we only want labeled graph then or what you can do you can create for example maybe this graph you can create 1 2 3 or maybe you can create this graph and so on so like this so basically remember for every pair of vertices if you take this pair of vertex or if you take this pair of vertex or if you take this pair of vertex for every possible pair of vertex we have two choices so either you can make them adjacent or you don't make them adjacent for example this is another graph this is another possible graph in this graph see there are three edges possible actually these are the three edges possible so maximum how many edges are possible so only three edges are possible for each edge we have two choices either you take that edge or you don't take that edge yes or no either you put that edge in the graph or you don't put that edge in the graph so for n equal to 3 what is the maximum number of edges possible if if i ask you what is the maximum number of edges possible maximum number of edges possible what is that for every pair of vertices like for every pair of vertices you can put one edge correct for every pair of vertices you can put one edge this is the maximum number of edges possible whatever pair of vertices you take you can take any pair of vertices okay and for every pair of vertices you can put one edge so these many maximum these many edges are possible now for every edge we have two choices either you can put that edge or you don't put that edge for example this is another graph that is possible like this many graphs are possible so finally answer will be remember there are total three edges possible maximum there are three edges possible you you can notice maximum there are three edges possible either you can take them for this we have two choices either you can put put it in the graph or you don't put it in the graph for this we have two choices put it in the graph or don't put it in the graph similarly for this also two choices 
So the answer will be 2 into 2 into 2, that is 2 power 8, uh, 2 power 3. So this is the idea. So I can say these are the maximum number of edges possible. And for every edge, we have two choices. Either you can put it in the graph or you don't put it in the graph. So the answer will be 2 power nc2. Is this clear to everyone? Tell me. So I can say if you have n vertices, if you have n vertices, then number of maximum number of edges, what is that? Maximum number of edges. If you have n vertices, undirected graph, you have n vertices, simple graph. I am talking about simple graph. So if you have n vertices, simple graph, then maximum number of edges, max number of edges, that will be n c2. Between every pair of vertices, you can put one edge. That is n n minus 1 by 2. This will happen for complete graph. This is the number of edges in complete graph. Number of simple graphs. How many simple graphs you can create? Okay, how many simple graphs you can create? So that will be 2 power n c2. Because these are the edges and for every edge you have two choices. Either you can take it or you don't take it for every edge. Already you have n vertices. There are total n vertices already. So that you cannot change. Already we have n vertices. Mm -hmm.